Hi, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Kevin. Good evening, Claribel. Good evening, Carla. Let me check the other one. Estar porque es que recién nos, nos cambiamos de casa y el recibo del cable y del internet quedó, llegó a la otra casa, entonces lo confundimos, no lo pagamos y ayer nos cortaron. Ah. No se preocupe, Claribel, those things happen, esas cosas pasan, all right? Pero, Por eso no pude estar ayer, pero ya resolvimos. Excelente, y ya me sorprendía que no la vi ayer y usted siempre está bien tempranito. Sí, para nada, no estuve incomunicada ayer. Ay, no, pobrecita, pero qué bueno que ya le resolvieron, mire. Sí, That's ya, gracias a Dios. Qué bueno, me alegro. Let me check. Hello, Alfredo. Hello, Kevin Villalobos. Hello. Hello, Hello teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, yes. All right, everybody. Welcome back to your English class. It's a pleasure to see you. We're going to get started just in a bit. All right. Creo que se están conectando algunos de ustedes. So let me check. My missing somebody. Hello, Victor. Good evening. <clears throat> okay. Now, everybody, let's get started. Today we are officially in class number Hello, 10. Teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Victor. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Giovanni. Okay, let me check. There you go. Okay. Estamos oficialmente en la clase número 10, everybody. So let's push ourselves, all right? Empujémonos un poquito. Yo sé que es, estamos en martes apenas. Todavía nos faltan two more classes. Dos clases más de la semana, pero I know we can make it, all right? Sé que podemos lograrlo. So you just need to be patient, all right? Here we go. Do you remember, mention at least five vocabulary words from the food pyramid? El día de ayer, in yesterday's class, en la clase de ayer, veíamos la pirámide alimenticia. If you remember, right? Si ustedes recuerdan. Entonces, como siempre, cuando vemos vocabulary, yo les pido que pasen a practicar. Luego de practicar, al siguiente día, les pregunto sobre el vocabulary. Y eso ustedes ya tuvieron que haberlo eh, discernido de unas clasecitas atrás, right? Si se fijan. Después de ver el vocabulary, lo practica ustedes y la siguiente clase, boom, yo les pregunto. Ok, so let's get started. Vamos a iniciar con Carla. Carla, tell me five vocabulary words from the food pyramid, please. I learned uh, butter, broccoli, uh, cream, bread, beans. Excellent. Uh, only. A what? Five. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Very good, Carita. Thank only. you. Okay. Now, let's go with Carlos. Good evening, Carlos. Welcome. Hola, buenas noches. Hi, good uh, evening. ¿Cuántas I palabras? Five vocabulary words. Ah, okay. Uh, cream. Fish. Mm -hmm. Milk, uh, strawberries, potatoes. Okay, very good, excellent, great job. Giovanni, tell me another five, please. Dígame otras cinco, Giovanni. Yo ayer entré tarde, pero me recuerdo de algunas, teacher. Se me puede decir por lo menos unas tres, creo que recuerdo. Great, Tomato. Ah, tomatoes. Carrot. Carrots, uh, potato, 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 perdón, y este, bueno, una que dijo la compañera y fish, fish, yeah, me, eh, no. uh -huh. solo esa, me recuerdo, dicho, solo Good las job. que medio logré ver ayer antes de que terminara la clase. Yeah, don't worry, excellent. Lo felicito, very good job. 
Now, let's go with the next one. Alfredo, tell me another five, please. Otra cinco, Alfredo. Uh, broccoli. Uh -huh. Broccoli. Racket. Um, mangoes. Mangoes, uh-huh. Um, um, potato chips. Potato chips, yes. Potato chips. Um, una más, una más. <laughs> bread. Bread. Bread, yeah, very good, excellent, Mr. Alfaro. Great job. Let's go with Victor Galdames. Tell me another five, Victor, please. Uh, beans, <clears throat> rice, beef, mm -hmm. eggs, nuts. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go with Kevin Rodriguez. Another five. Oil, yogurt. Lettuce, bacon, rice. Mm, después de bacon? Rice. Rice. Arroz. Sí. Rice. Okay, very good. Excellent. Thank you, Kevin. Let's listen to Eric. You were the last one who was in the class, Eric. Uh -huh. So tell me another five, please. Chicken. Uh -huh. Noodles. Yeah, noodles. Um, butter, mm -hmm. meat, uh, protein. Protein. Very good. Excellent, Eric. Thank you. All right, everybody. Great job. You do remember the vocabulary. Si recuerda el vocabulary. So let's move on to the next one. Para los que no estuvieron en la clase de ayer, yo esperaría que usted haya practicado con la recording, con la grabación. Sí, vi los mensajes que me pusieron en WhatsApp de que no se pueden conectar por la lluvia o por el internet y los comprendo, ok, no problem. Pero sí esperaría que hayan visualizado la recording, la grabación o hayan trabajado en la plataforma porque solo tienen hasta una semana completa básicamente para una sola plataforma, para una sola lección, perdón. Así que tendrían que haberlo trabajado already. So let's move on. Guiding examples. ¿Cómo vamos a utilizar este vocabulary, teacher? Let's take a look at this. I like butter and oil. <clears throat> I don't like candies and cream. My mother likes fish, nuts, and beans, but she doesn't like cheese and yogurt. Okay? Notice these sentences, please. Por favor, fíjense cómo está siendo utilizado los nouns que ustedes ya vieron la clase de ayer. Eh, let me ask, le voy, a, le voy a pedir a Mayra que me lea las tres oraciones, please, de nuevo. I like butter and oil. I don't like candies and cream. My mother likes fish, nuts and beans, but she doesn't like cheese and yogurt. Mm -hmm. Very good, excellent. Let me hear Juan, please. Juan Segura, can you repeat the sentences again? Okay, okay, se le desconectó. It might be. Okay, let me hear Kevin Villalobos, please. Can you repeat the sentences again? Try to give more energy to your words, Kevin, please. Okay, I like I like butter and oil. Butter, butter and oily? Oil. Oil, okay. I like butter and oil. I don't like candies and creams. My my mother likes fish, nuts and beans, but she doesn't like cheesy and yogurt. yogurt. Repeat, repeat after me, cheese. Cheese. Excellent. Thank you, Kevin. Very good job. Yes, everybody, please try to give that intonation, all right? Traten de darle esa entonación cuando lean. No lean como que están dormidos o como cansados. Believe me, I got you. Los entiendo. Vengo de estar tres horas en un tráfico. So I understand you guys. Los comprendo completamente que vienen cansados. Pero aún así, I gotta keep my rhythm. 
yo no puedo quedarme dormida en la clase mientras se las estoy transmitiendo a ustedes, ni bajar mi tono de voz, hacerlo aburrido. Así que les pido que ustedes hagan lo mismo, ¿ok? Porque si no, todos nos vamos a dormir. <laughs> Very good job. Now, let's go to the next one. Practice time. Momento de practicar. Let's go with Eric Lazo. Me lee la instruction number one and two, please. Solo one and two. One, work individually. Two, create sentences using the food pyramid. Mm -hmm. Excellent, thank you. Kevin Rodriguez, read instruction number three and four, please. Use each of the categories from the pyramid. Some sentence shall be on third person singular. Excellent, very good job. Ayer noté en la practice que hubo un poco de confusion entre la third person singular y la first person singular. All right, en plural also. Así que vamos a practicar con las sentences, es decir, de estas tres, vamos a ver, eh, Carlos, de estas tres sentences, ¿cuál es la que está en third person singular? La tres. Ajá, exactly. ¿Por qué? ¿Cuál es la tercera persona singular ahí? Eh, my mother. ¿Y esa equivale a qué sujeto? Eh, eh, she. Excelente. Very good. There you go. Very good. Excelente. Ese es el tipo de análisis que quiero que hagan, right? Ah, en esa utilizó a third person singular. De hecho, es my mother, la tercera persona. Y eso equivale a she, que en español es ella, ¿ok? Quiero que lleven, keep that in mind, al momento de hacer sus oraciones. Van a ser, dice, que van a ser una por cada categoría, pero serían muchas sentences. Así que... Solo hagan three sentences, tres oraciones cada uno, ¿ok? Three sentences, and that's it. Con tres nos movemos muy bien. O como máximo, hasta máximo three, hasta mínimo two, como mínimo dos. Pero si usted hace dos, tiene que hacer una en first person y la otra en third person singular. Y si usted hace las tres, de igual manera va a ser una en third person singular. Quiero ver cómo estamos manejando esa tercera persona singular, ¿ok? Let's work on it, please. Pueden utilizar distintos verbos como, en este caso yo utilicé likes, or like, pero usted puede utilizar drinks, eat, um, cooks, all right? Puedo utilizar distintos verbs. So work on it. Trabajemos en eso y les voy a dar el tiempo que necesiten. And let me know when you're finished. puede poner la pirámide. Yeah, sure. Gracias. Teacher, yeah. mm -hmm. yo voy entrando, lo siento. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Yes, Ingrid, welcome, bienvenida. Vaya, te explico. Estamos haciendo el practice time, como ayer aprendíamos este nuevo vocabulary. Ahora les mostré las oraciones utilizando ese vocabulary en simple present, porque estamos en simple present, right? Entonces tienen que crear tres oraciones, Ingrid, utilizando... El vocabulario de cualquiera de estas categorías. Three sentences. Pero por obligación, una de las sentences tiene que ir en tercera persona singular. Ok. Uh -huh. Very good. Si necesita ayuda, let me know. Ok. Finish, teacher. Great job. Excellent. Vamos a darles unos cuatro minutitos o cinco más. Porque solo una persona ha terminado.
I finish. Great, Eric, excellent, very good job. I have a question, teacher. Yeah, tell me. How do you say it in, in fruit? No, sorry. Chuga. Uh, Carlita, se le cortó el audio, no le escuché. Say lechuga. Lettuce. Lettuce. Y repollo. Ah, no sí, sí existe. Let me just look for it. De hecho, durante la pandemia, como yo estaba cocinando mucho de eso de repollo, ocupé bastante esa palabra. Pero se me acaba de olvidar, Carlita. Let me check. No es leer, es tampoco es. Cabbage. Cabbage. Sí, se escribe cabaje. Ya se lo pongo aquí. Ahí donde dice que hay en examples, miren. Cabbage. What is the pronunciation? Cabbage. No, así, así se escribe y la pronunciation es cabbage. Repollo. Yes. The chicken. Ah, eso le va a decir. The chicken le va a decir. No, mamá. Ahí sí no que hay un platillo. <laughs> yes, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. How many of you have finished already? Además de Carla y Mr. Lazo, ¿quiénes más han finalizado? Teacher, how do you say cebolla? Onion. Onion. Thank you. Welcome. Uh -huh. Kevin and Alfredo, bye. One more minute and we're gonna, two more minutes and we're going to start, right? Dos minutos más e iniciamos. All right, let's get started, everybody. Let's start with Carla. Iniciamos con Carla, luego Eric, luego el señor Alfredo. Y Kevin, okay, action. Okay, teacher. And I like to eat extra berry and mangoes. Mm -hmm. And third person, she doesn't like to drink coffee, but she likes to drink milk. 
Great. Excellent. Very good. Carla, let me ask you. Le pregunto, Carla. Was it difficult? ¿Lo sintió bien difícil? Or not? No. No. Okay. Great job. Very good. Let's go with Eric. Action, Eric. My sister eats chicken for dinner. Uh, my classmate buys apples every day. Mm. <laughs> Only two, Eric. <laughs> Solo dos. Uh, my son likes candy. Very good. Excellent. Ahora analicemos la número, el número dos. Mm -hmm. Sería my classmates buys or my classmates buy? My classmate buys. Ajá. ¿Y qué tercera, qué tercera persona singular es my classmate? He. Pero dijo classmates, es un conjunto. Eso sería they. Oh. Equivale a un they. Ok. Mm -hmm. Very good. Entonces tendría Bye. que decir my classmates. Bye. Bye. Mm -hmm. Very good, Eric. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. A pleasure. Let's go with Alfredo y luego Kevin y luego Claribel. I drink milk. I don't eat cream. Mm -hmm. My father eats meat, chicken, and fish. Fish, but he doesn't eat beans and fries. Great job, very good. But he doesn't eat beans. ¿Y qué más dijo? And rice. And, and fries. rice. Very good. Excellent. O sea, no toma sopa de frijol. <laughs> Great job, Mr. Oh, no. Casamiento. Rice and oh, well, beans. it's true. Casamiento. It's true. <laughs> Casamiento, it's true. Ya no me acordaba de eso. Very good job, Mr. Alfaro. Great. Let's go with Kevin y luego Claribel. I don't like fish. I eat sweet tangerines. My wife doesn't drink milk, but she drinks tea. Uh -huh, very good. Excellent. My wife doesn't drink tea, but she drinks. Oh, me equivoqué. Doesn't drink coffee. Kevin? My wife doesn't drink milk. Drink milk. But doesn't... she drinks tea. Bye. Le explico. Cuando usted utiliza el doesn't, no le tiene que agregar ese al verb. Doesn't drink. Hasta ahí la idea. No le agregue ese. Pero en la segunda idea que usted puso, but. She drinks. Ahí sí está correcto, Kevin. ¿Ok? Ok. Very good, excellent. Let's go with Claribel, please. Ok. I like cereal and milk. I don't like broccoli and onion. My sister likes strawberry, but she doesn't like mangoes. Okay, repita, my sister likes or my sister like? My sister like. Likes. Okay. Third person. My sister equivale a un she. Okay, oh. third person. Very good, excellent. Thank you, Claribel. Great job. Another one. Otro volunteer, otro voluntario. Ya empiezo yo, pick and choose. Yo okay. dije. Xiomara, excellent. Después de Xiomara, Mayra. Action. Number one. I like cooked eggs with cheese. My sister likes to eat fruits and cereals in the morning. My father likes beans with vegetables. Vegetable. But, vegetable, mm -hmm. but he doesn't like to cook. All right, very good, excellent. Great job, Xiomara, great. Okay, gracias. Let's go with Mayra. Okay, I like milk and mango. Mm -hmm. I don't like fish, potato, and cereal. Mm -hmm. My sister likes 
fish, broccoli, and carrots, but she doesn't like meat. Excellent, very good. Good usage of the auxiliaries. Great job. Let's go with Carlos. Después de Carlos, va Giovanni. Después de Giovanni, Ruth. Action. Okay. My daughter doesn't like fish, but she likes potatoes. Mm -hmm. My son likes yogurt and tomatoes. I drink milk every morning. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good, excellent. Great job. And change. It's me. Boy, boy, boy. Eh, solamente quería decirle algo, eh, Carlos. En la segunda sentence que usted utilizó, puso, but she like, right? Eh, sí, ahí sería la S que uh, falta, ¿verdad? Yes, she likes, yes. she likes, es cierto, It's porque right. es tercera persona. Yes, y también después del but, porque usted utilizó el doesn't al principio. En esa misma oración usted tiene dos, dos ideas, dos ideas. Sí. Ajá, entonces utilizó el docent y eso está perfecto porque no le cambió nada al verb, pero ya en la segunda idea, ya es otra idea, está bien que usted le agregue la S. Sí, es que me, me, se me fue. Me fue. Very good. No, no problem, all right? Solo que yo la voy analizando, por eso le digo, Carlos. That's great. Perfecto, gracias. Thank you. Let's go with uh, Giovanni, después de Giovanni, Luz. Action, Joe. Okay. Uh, one, uh, she was eating cookie chocolate. Uh, la segunda, my father did me a delicious chicken. Y la última, I don't like, I don't like carrot. Carrot. Uh, my father gives me, gives me. Okay. Vaya, la primera no la hizo en simple present, la hizo en otro tiempo gramatical. All right. Pero las otras dos, they are correct. Okay, Giovanni, very good job. Thank you. Let's okay. go with Ruth. I don't like tomatoes. Tomate? Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Mm, I don't like macaroni soup. Uh -huh. mm, she like man, man. ¿Cómo se pronuncia mango? Mangoes. But she likes mangoes and bananas, but she doesn't like to tomatoes and broccoli. All right. She likes mangoes and bananas. Very good. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you, Ruth. Let's go with Victor Galdames. Después de Victor Galdames, Kevin Villalobos. Okay. Uh, my sister doesn't like cream and chicken. Uh -huh. My son like, likes uh, potato chip and beans. Uh -huh. My mother likes the milk and cream, but doesn't like the butter and oil. Wow, great. La hizo toda center person. Excellent, Victor. Para practicar más, le felicito porque las hizo en tercera persona. Okay, teacher. Very good. Let's go with... ¿Con quién iba? Con Mr. Villalobos. Y después okay. con Ingrid. Okay. I don't like carrot. My mother goes to supermarket and... She like no, 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 no. She drinks coffee for breakfast. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's okay. Very good. Those are correct. Thank you. Let's go with Ingrid. Teacher, no sé si están buenas. O sea, hice el intento. Yeah, very good. La felicito. A ver, digan. My brother likes chicken and cream. And cream. And drink, <laughs> but he doesn't like broccoli and cheese. Yeah. Uh, I like <laughs> I like meal and cookies. Yes, Ingrid, they are correct. <laughs> okay, yo, yo, 
o sea, pues estaba haciéndolas y yo dudando porque dije yo, ¿será o no será? Pero pues. No, don't doubt. <laughs> All right. Cuando uno duda es que le va mal. So don't doubt. <laughs> okay. Very good job. Everybody, excellent job. Congratulations, everybody. Los felicito. Lograron hacer unas great sentences. Unas oraciones muy excelentes. All right. Now, let's move on to conversation. How about some sandwiches? Vamos a entrar al topic de count and non-count nouns. So we need to know something a little bit of this. We have Adam and Amanda. What do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade and let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad, all right? So here we go, let's practice. Um, vamos a ver. Elmer Ortiz, are you there? Está ahí, Elmer. Hola, sí, sí, aquí soy, lo que okay. pasa es que estoy acá en Guatemala, eh, pero es de la conversación, disculpe. Yeah, yeah, you're going to be Adam. Usted va a ser Adam, yo voy a ser Amanda. Action. What do you, what do you, what do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, refrigerator, refrigerator. Refrigerator. But we, refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. 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 And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get let us let's get some lim, lemonade. 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 And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Everyone like potato sal sal salad. salad. Excellent. Very good job. Thank you. Thank you. That's correct. Now, everybody, let's check. Gracias, Elmer. Let's go with you, guys. Vamos con ustedes. Let's have Victor Galdames. Usted va a ser Adam. Carlos Acevedo. Usted va a ser Amanda. Action. What do you want for the picnic? Um, how about some sandwich? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any dreams? No, we need some. All right. Let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Great, great job, excellent, thank you. Very good. Let's go with the next one. Good intonation, all right? No me durmieron, estaba muy buena la entonación. Congratulations, that's good. Let's go with the next pair. Vamos con la siguiente pareja, que sería Claribel. Usted va a ser Adam. Carla, usted es Amanda. Action. What do you want for the picnic? Esperamos un ratito, Claribel, porque creo que a Carla se le cortó el audio. Ok. Sí, se le congeló la image. Ok. Vamos a buscar a alguien más. Entonces, Mayra, usted va a ser Amanda, please. Action. Ok. What do you want for the picnic? Mm, oh, about some sandwich. Okay, 
we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drink? Drink? No. No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone like potato salad. Great, very good, excellent, Claribel. Good intonation. Very excellent. Okay, let me check. And Mayra, Mayra was? No, see. Sí. Yeah, don't worry, Carlita, no se preocupe. Pusimos a Mayra. Muchas gracias, Mayra. Excellent participation. Ok, Carla, entonces ahora usted va a ser Amanda y Alfredo Alfaro. Ustedes, Ada. Action. What do you want for the picnic? How about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken. Perdón, excuse me. Okay, we had some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. We don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, oh, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. lemonade. Let's buy some potato salad. Sure, every, sure, everyone likes potato salad. Excellent. Thank you. Very good job. That's correct. That's great. Let's go with Ruth. Ruth, you are Amanda. And Eric Lasso, you are Adam. Action. What do you want for the picnic? Mm. Oh. Uh, um. Some sandwich. Okay. Well, okay. Okay. We have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Great job, excellent, very good. I barely was able to listen to Ruth audio. Un poco tuvimos problemas ahí con el audio de Ruth. But other than that, it was okay. Good pronunciation and also intonation. Great job. Let's go with the next one. And let me see, ¿quién más me falta? Giovanni. Giovanni, usted va a ser Adam. And let me check. Xiomara, usted no ha pasado, ¿verdad, Xiomara? No. Okay, you are going to be Amanda. Action. Okay. What do you want for picnic? Mm, how about some sandwiches? Okay. We have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right. Let's get some lemonade. And let's buy uh, some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Great job, excellent. Good intonation and also rhythm. Now, everybody, let's move on to the next one. Quito esto aquí para hacerlo más chiquito, okay? What are nouns? A noun equals a person, a place, or a thing. 
In other words, many things that you see around you are nouns. In Spanish, we know nouns as eh, sustantivos, right? In Spanish, los nouns son los sustantivos. There you go. Como dice la information, puede equivaler a una persona, a un lugar o a un objeto, right? En otras palabras, muchas de las cosas que vemos a nuestro alrededor son nouns. Desde talking about a bottle, desde hablar a una botella, hasta un cell phone, una computer, o a person. It could be a noun, okay? So, if by any chances somebody always, somebody asks you, hey, what are nouns? You know what to say. Si por algún motivo alguien les pregunta, hey, ¿qué son los nouns? All right, in English, usted sabe qué decir. That's why I brought this. Por eso les pongo esta información en el video, la mencionan. Pero como la traducción se las tiran en Spanish, en los videos, yo estaba viendo los videos, y se las tiran en Spanish, la translation. Entonces, por eso se los puse yo aquí en inglés, porque usted tiene que saber también cómo decirlo en inglés. So here we go, let's get started. Vamos a pedirle a Kevin Villalobos, can you read the information again, please? Lo siento, estaba con el micrófono apagado. <laughs> what are nouns? A noun, I igual no sé cómo se dice. Well. Okay, a noun igual a person, a person, a place or a things in the other words, many things that you see around you are nouns. nouns. Great job, excellent. Yeah, are nouns. Very good, Mr. Villalobos. Carla, do you want to read the information or you wanted to say something? Teacher, the next, uh, la anterior página, yo vi que decía, decía una palabra en la anterior. Ajá. Quiero saber, este, perdón por salir. El, el sí. significado. El Which how, harabao, harabao. Ah. ¿Qué hay? All right. How about? Uh -huh. How about some sandwiches? ¿Qué hay? Uh, ¿Qué hay si llevamos unos sándwiches? ¿O qué hay si comemos unos sándwiches? ¿Qué hay? Uh -huh. okay. Yeah, how about? Thank you. Uh -huh. Usted lo puede utilizar con cualquier otro contexto. Por ejemplo, eh, con mis estudiantes, as they are in, in high school, right? Como estaba en bachillerato. Estamos viendo eso también y dice, how about a movie? ¿Qué hay de una película? Right? How about a movie? How about pop drum? ¿Qué hay del pop drum? Okay. Mm -hmm. You can use it with whatever. Puedo utilizarlo con lo que sea. Very good. Teacher, Now, entonces eso sería informal. Mm -hmm. Una forma informal. Yes, indeed. Sí, porque en un ensayo jamás lo puede decir. Y menos uh -huh. con Mr. Bowles <laughs> or somebody else, right? Uh -huh. Okay, you <laughs> yeah, very good. Let's go with the next one. Quiero que otra persona lo lea. Jimmy Flores, can you read the information again, please? Okay. A noun equal a person, a place, or a things. In other words, many things that you see around you are known. Great job, excellent. And the last person. Ingrid Caldames, can you read the information for the third time, please? Okay, and now, teacher, el igual, ¿cómo dijo que se decía? Equals. E equal, equals. Okay, and now, equals a person, a place, or a, a team, in other words, many Things that you see around you are knows. Great job, excellent. Thank you. All right. Con tres veces que lo han leído, yo creo que si mañana les pregunto, hey, everybody, what are nouns? Usted ya sabe que es un noun. No me vaya a decir en español los sustantivos, teacher, all right? Porque me van un mini paro. <laughs> okay. Let's go with the next one. Some and any. Count and non-count nouns. Let me check if I can move this. There you go. We have, do we need any eggs? 
Yes, let's get some. Usted puede llegar hasta some y eso va a estar correcto, no hay ningún problema. Porque se sabe que estamos hablando de los eggs. Pero si usted quiere como no redundar, sino que dejar establecido que eso es lo que van a comprar, puede decir, yes, let's get some eggs. All right? But most of the time is omitted. La mayoría del tiempo se omite el down porque ya se sabe que de eso se está hablando. No, we don't need any. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any. Count nouns. An egg, eggs. Listen up. Van a ver nouns que ustedes los van a ver en la forma incontable, right? O sea, que no se pueden contar. Pero cuando ya están en plural, sí se pueden contar. So you need to take into consideration that. Puede parecer confuso, pero sí existe, right? So let's go with the another example, the other example. A sandwich, sandwiches. Les explico esto, teacher, pero a sandwich no está en plural. Eso no quita el hecho de que es un cut now, que usted puede contar cuántos sándwiches va a tener. ¿Ok? Non-cut nouns. Bread and lemon. A diferencia de nosotros que tenemos el pan francés. <laughs> they people usually, they don't count bread. Usualmente la gente no cuenta el pan. Right? Bread in general. The same as lemonade. You can measure the amount of lemonade. Usted puede medir la cantidad de limonada que va a tomar, pero no la puede contar. Right? It's something that you can't count. Then we have a specific. I'm eating an egg. Let's get some bread. General. Eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. Okay? Now, let's listen to Claribel. Claribel, usted hace estas dos preguntas de la primera columna y... Eric Lazo, usted las contesta con ambas options. Action. Okay. Do we need any egg? Yes. Let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Yes. Let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. Great job. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, let's have Kevin Rodriguez. Tell me the cut nouns. Me dice los cut nouns y los non-cut nouns, please. Que tenemos en la segunda, in the second column. Cut nouns. An egg. Eggs. A sandwich. Sandwiches, non count nouns, bread, lemonade. Great job, excellent, thank you. Uh, Carlos, can you read the sentences with a specific? And Carla Miranda, the general sentences. Action, Carlos. I am eating an egg. Let's get some bread. Thank you. No se le escucha el audio, Carlita. Sí se ve que tiene encendido el micrófono, but we can't hear you. Perdido la página. Hoy sí. There you go. Ahora sí. ¿Dónde está la... Ay, se me... Ahí está. Ese sería count. No, sería la de general. Las sentences que están bajo el tópico de general. Ok. La última columna. Eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. Mm -hmm. That's great. Thank you. Now, let's have Giovanni Trigueros. You ask. Usted pregunta las dos que tenemos en la primera columna. Jimmy Flores, usted contesta esas two questions. Action. Hey, we do you need any eggs? Yes. Let's get some egg. No, we don't need eggs. We don't need Do we any. Need, we don't need any egg. Do we 
We see. Sí. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. Great job, excellent, thank you. Let's have Victor Galdames. Tell me the count nouns and the non-count nouns. Count nouns and X, X. And X, X. Eh, en X, X. Vaya, aquí no tiene S, Víctor. Ah, ok. Ay, en X, X. Eh, es que tengo confusión porque se oye como que fuera X. Yeah, La, I know. Para... <ríe> sí, no se preocupe, yo lo comprendo. Pero no tiene la S. So don't worry, no se preocupe. Usted solo diga an X porque solo tenemos uno. Y X porque tenemos más de uno. Ok, bueno, con noun en X, X, a sandwich, sandwiches, non, eh, non con nouns, bref, limones. Excellent, thank you. And the last one, let me go with eh, Mayra. Can you read the specific sentences, please? And let me check, usted las específicas. Y Ortiz, usted las general sentence. Action. Is specific. I'm eating an egg. Let's get some bread. Thank you. Perdón, teacher, ¿me puede repetir la indicación? Yeah, you need to read the general sentence. Las oraciones que están bajo el tópico de general, en la tercera columna. Mm, ok. Eggs are good for you. Eh, bread is good for you. That's correct. Excellent. All right, everybody. With that being said, let's move on to the next one. Guiding examples. I need some apples. I don't need any bread. Ok. Please remember, remember, keep in mind, take into consideration. Usted any lo puede utilizar para negativo, la palabrita any. Lo puede utilizar para negativo o para preguntas, ¿ok? In this case, if you notice, ¿cuál es el auxiliar que yo tengo en la, en la oración número dos que me lo hace negativo? La sentence. Don't. Done. Very good. Excellent. Let's move on to the next one. Practice time. And vamos a pedirle a Claribel, me lee las instructions, please. Okay. Practice time. Work individually. Create at let let to sentences using con, eh, count, eh, así se pronuncia. Yeah, countnouns. Countnount, um, non-countnount, not, share your sentences with the class. Excellent. Repeat after me, Claribel, at least. En la número dos, create sí. at least. At least. Mm -hmm. Very good, excellent. Como si tuviera ahí, very good. Now, everybody, two sentences, that's it. Dos oraciones, and that's ready. Okay? Les voy a dejar estas por aquí. Okay? Let's work on it. Creemos. Vamos a crear esas two sentences.
All right. Have any of you finished already? Tenemos a alguien que haya finalizado? Or no? Carla. Okay, Carla. Let me hear your sentence. Escuchamos sus sentences. Y para mañana me van a traer estas sentences. Como calentamiento, las vamos a escuchar las demás. Action, Carla. Okay. I need some eggs in the pot. Ajá. Uh -huh. And she doesn't need any cream on the bread. Very good, excellent, very good. That's correct. Tan correcta. Recuerden que ustedes pueden cambiar también los verbs, ¿ok? Como en este caso yo utilicé need, usted puede utilizar uh, drink o peels, que es pelar, si en dado caso quieren, están hablando de alguna fruta. You can use different verbs. Pueden utilizar más verbs. All right, everybody, that's pretty much it for today's class. It has been a pleasure to be with you, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Take care. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye. Have a good night. See ya. Bye, teacher.